Hi guys! Thank you guys for clicking on this video. My name is Julie. So today's topic is gonna be on looks versus personality and what does science say about it? So I'm gonna be introducing to you guys three studies that were done on this and each of these studies are gonna dive into things like gender differences, what males prefer, what females prefer, and just overall physical attributes that we all just find so irresistible. And what really determines if we go on a second date with someone? Is it looks or is it personality? Mm, you'll find out. But before we go into all the juicy stuff, I just want to say that if you guys are interested in psychology videos like this one, or you guys are interested in topics like relationships, self-love, and spirituality, please subscribe and click the bell button so you guys don't miss a video with me. The first study is a 2009 study on gender differences and this is a study that really looked at characteristics that we look for in an ideal partner. So the participants in the study, they wrote down characteristics they looked for in their ideal partner, traits and values. And they ranked them from 1 through 10 of what's m most important to least important. And then the scientists, the researchers, they looked for similarities within these answers. And they found out that in general, males and females both look for these top four categories of um, traits that they look for in a partner. One is cognitive ability which is one's ability to problem solve, think critically, and just, you know, be up there in the head. And two is emotional intelligence, I would hope so, <laughs> which is basically just one's ability to recognize their own emotions, to understand themselves and be empathetic towards other people and communicate their feelings clearly. And three is physical health. And four is social skills. So these are four traits that we all look for in an ideal partner, which makes sense. But the interesting part really comes down to the differences, the gender difference, what males look for primarily in their ideal partner and what females look for. So it shows that males, they look for one, looks and attractiveness. I am not surprised. And two, loving and caring. And three, cognitive skills, intelligence. Now, females, the first thing that they look for is caring and loving. And then second is funny. And third is loyal and honest. Each gender's males and females, they both rated these three categories as the most important, what they look for. So the second study that I'm going to talk about is called What is Beauty? And this study just really dives into the objective perspective of what beauty is. Because yes, beauty is subjective to a certain extent. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But they there seems to be an objective agreement within everyone that certain people are considered attractive and some people are considered not attractive and what are those physical traits and this is what we're going to find out in this study what the re participants did is that they were given pictures of people's faces and they were supposed to rate those faces on a scale of non-attractive to attractive and the researchers looked for similarities within the answers of the participants the researchers looked at what people thought was the most attractive and the second part of the study is they used babies to rate attractiveness and non-attractiveness because yes the participants earlier on used were good, but their minds are altered. Our minds are altered because of our cultural influence or societal influence. But babies' minds are not altered. So babies tend to look at things that look more interesting and attractive longer. So what they did is they held up a picture of, you know, those individuals. They just kind of rated which p person that the babies looked at the longest. And that's how they found out which one was attractive. Now, the results from the studies show that symmetrical faces are considered attractive. Now, this is a symmetrical face. There are some physical traits that we all find attractive in certain 
genders like males and females so in males we all find broad jaw lines is like, attractive and I definitely vouch for that one I love a man with a nice jawline a jawline that can cut ya and in females we find big eyes wide smile prominent cheekbones and a small nose attractive moving on to study number three and this study call is called the computer dance study now this study i really this is one of my favorite studies is because um it is like really smart what the researchers did in this study so the study was conducted at minnesota university of minnesota in 1966 and what they did was their uh freshmen new incoming freshmen they hosted a dance for them um like a homecoming like nice to meet you welcome to the campus get to know these people type of uh dance and the computer randomly arranged people on dates so these kids that were coming they had no idea who their date was they were just getting assigned a random date so what happened in the study the first part is that the physical attractiveness rating so when these students they came up to pick up their ticket first they had to show their id and the person that was you know taking their id to see they had to rate the student's attractiveness on a scale of non-attractive to, to attractive and then the student had to walk over and sign their name at the sign-in sheet and the person that was giving them the sign-in sheet also had to rate the student's attractiveness and then the student had to go and grab their ticket and the person that gave them the ticket also had to rate the student's attractiveness and then the second part of the study is the intermission during the intermission there i mean the dance started and during the intermission all the students had to take a computer psychology test it included the students rating their attractiveness of their date and then their attractiveness of themselves now the results came out the only thing that determined whether they wanted to see their date again was physical attractiveness there you have it ladies and gentlemen physical attractiveness okay, so now that we went over all the studies i kind of want to just talk to you guys about the study itself and just how i feel about it and what i think about this topic based on the evidence looks versus personality seems like looks outweigh the personality but i do feel like yes looks may catch your eye but personality is what keeps you because there's been so many times where, I mean, I've been there and I'm sure you guys have been too when we meet someone and we're like, oh my god, this person is a god. And then later on we're like, oh, just not attractive at all because of their personality. Or we meet someone and we're like, oh, they're okay. And then later on you're like drooling over them because of what a beautiful personality they bring to the table. So I really hope that everything in this video helped you guys at the end. I hope you guys use this information to your advantage. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Please like this video if you guys liked it and comment below any other ideas that you guys would want me to make videos on. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you so much. Mwah.